Hi guys, welcome you all to my YouTube channel Software Testing by MKT. As a part of this video, I am going to talk about classes and object in Java. So let's get started. Class is nothing but it's a blueprint or a template to create an object. To make this definition looks easier to you guys, let me give you an example. Whenever any company is developing a car, first they will make the blueprint ready. The reason they will make the blueprint ready because at the early stage itself they will be having an idea how their car will look like in future. So in blueprint they will design where and all they want seats to be, where they want gear system to be, where they want their accelerator to be, where they want their brake to be, where they want their clutch will be, everything, each and every design. So the reason they will make the blueprint ready is because in that only they, they will fit their car and design everything in a similar way whenever you are constructing a house first you will make the blueprint ready which will have so that you will be having an idea that this is how my house will look like in future you will make the blueprint of your house which will make you guys understand that where will be my washroom where will be my hall where will be my kitchen where will be my each and everything so in a similar way your class is nothing but it's a blueprint or a template to create an object so your class is nothing but it is a blueprint or it is a template so your class is nothing but it's a blueprint or template to create an object so when I gave you an example your blueprint or template is nothing but your design your design of your house why are you making the design of your house to make your house so class is nothing but it is a blueprint or a template to create an object your object here is your house or your car i hope now definition is very clear so you need class because this will provide the blueprint or a template to make my car ready to make my house ready to make my object so Class is a blueprint or template to create an object. Your object here is nothing but your car or your house. So class is a blueprint or a template to create an object. Your class defines the design of an object, the data it can hold and the way it can behave. As I said in the definition, your class, it creates the design and it provides the data that it can hold and the way it behaves. So your, your class is nothing but it provides the design your object can have. It provides the data your object can hold and the way your object can behave. In a similar way, what do you mean by object? So any entity which has its own state and behavior that is called as object here your state is nothing but your characteristics and your behavior is nothing but functionality so what do you mean by object object is nothing but any entity which has its own state and behavior is called as object what do you mean by state state is nothing but characteristics of an object and what do you mean by behave? It is the functionality of an object. So I hope now the definition is very clear. Your class is nothing but it is a blueprint or a template to create an object. Your class specifies the design of your object, the data your object can hold and the way your object can behave. What do you mean by object? Object is nothing but any entity which has its own state and behavior is called as object. Here state is nothing but characteristics of an object. Here behavior is nothing but functionality of an object. Whenever you are constructing your house, first you will make your blueprint of the house. Once after blueprint is ready, finally you will construct your house. So here blueprint is nothing but your class and your house is nothing but your object. Whenever you are constructing your house, your design or blueprint is nothing but your class, 
and your house which you are making is nothing but your object whenever any company is developing any car first they will make the blueprint ready first they will make the design ready so the design of the car is nothing but your class and finally they will make the car ready that is called as object i hope class and object in java is now clear to you now let's go ahead to write a first program in java which make you guys understand completely how class and object looks like in real world so whenever you start writing a program in java whatever program you will write it will all come under your class so whenever you start writing for your program in java the first thing you will do is you will create a class why class because it's a blueprint so let's say i am going to write a program in which i have to print software testing by mkt so first i will create create the class because it is a blueprint without blueprint i cannot create my house in a similar way just because i want to print software testing by mkt in screen i have to first create a class so i am creating a class called as class m k t whenever i am creating a blueprint or class i am opening it and i am closing it this this is called as class declaration this line is called as your class declaration and this opening and closing of a class is called as your class body now this is a class mkt this is the template which you have created and this is a class which you have created you have given the name of the class as mkt anything you can give the class name and if you have seen my token video i had said that name given to any class is called as identifier so now i'm linking that video with this video so this mkt the name of the class which i have given is called as identifier and always remember i had said that in that video also now also i'm telling your identifier will always start with your character and your identifier always start with your capital letter so this is your class name which is nothing but identifier any name given to the class is called as identifier if you remember my token video i had said that i am linking both the videos now the the class mkt is called as a class declaration and the opening of the class and closing of the class is called as a class body and now once your class is ready we are going to write the main method so your main method looks like while writing the main method why i have written public static void main string arguments is because i will not be covering it now i will be covering it when i will be talking about my method video soon i am going to create my one video which is called as methods what is method in java there i will be talking about why i am writing public static void main just because it is a first video of first program in java just understand that in class whenever you are writing main method you have to write public static void main string arguments now what exactly is our aim as you remember our aim was to print software testing by mkt so we have to write system dot out dot print ln under double quotes you have to write your software testing by m k t close semicolon and this is all so this is the class which you have created which is called as a class declaration and where from where it is opening and closing it is called as a class body this is the main method which you have created it is called as method declaration and this portion is called as method body and this is called as a print statement 
anything you want to print in Java, you have to write system.out.println. This system.out.println always start with caps letter. This string, this always starts with your caps letter. This identifier name, your class name always starts with capital letter. Always remember this. If you don't do this, you will get an error. So, if you run this program, you will get the output as software testing by MKT. So, this is how your first program of Java looks like. I hope this video was useful to you guys. If you have any question, I know many questions will be there. List out all your doubts in the comment section. I will be covering in the next upcoming videos. Till then, take care.